All right, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. And since I've been forgetting about it over and over again, you pl press the select button on the world map. You get these skits. <clears throat> I wonder what kind of person, and they they talk. It's on Japanese voice acting, but <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I... I don't know why I've been forgetting those skits. They're in all, almost all the Tales game. But anyway, we're in you, said. Let's do this. So I wonder if this is as big as, um... The other game. Oh, there's chests here. Room bottle. Question mark rod. I don't think that rod's good, so I'm not going to mess with it yet. So what are you doing in a place like this? Well, <clears throat> Mint, what is it? That girl, she looks like she has a bad case of it. Really? <clears throat> she doesn't look all that sick to me. You have it all wrong. Class, don't you understand? That girl is lovesick. Lovesick? That vacant stare and that suffocating tension. Why don't we see if we can help her out somewhere? I don't think we should get involved. Class, did you say something? No, nothing. <clears throat> um, what is it? Nice weather we're having, huh? Class, I didn't want you to try and pick her up. I'll try asking her. Excuse me. If there's something troubling, perhaps you'd like to talk about it. What? But, but, please don't be afraid. I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Actually, there's someone that, that I'm in love with. I thought so. Who is he? His name is Elwyn. I believe he's in the equipment shop right now. In the equipment shop? I understand. Elwyn. Alright, so now I gotta find an Elwyn, I guess. Let's look around. Ooh, what's up here? Mixed gummy! Mixed gummies are good. Anything else? Hiding? <clears throat> Stuff like to hide. Um, there's a lot of cats in this house. <clears throat> I obtained a thousand geld. Yo. Um, oh, there's the equipment shop. There's hidden stuff everywhere, I think. Ooh, wait, how'd you get up there? <clears throat> oh, hey, nice. Charm bottle. Well, good job finding a way up here. What do you think? Great view, isn't it? Huh. Then yeah, I guess it is. Do, 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 do. Now I'm stuck. How do I get around? Come here. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there's I'm I feel like I'm missing something. Wait, that, that one barked, what? Dragonfly, it's a dragonfly. I guess I'm missing it. So equipment shop. <clears throat> so what can I buy? <clears throat> I can get her the amber cloak. This be pretty good. I can get better shield, better helmet. 
Kit kitchen mittens. Yeah, let's not get that for her. Um, who are you? Sorry to bother you, but would you happen to be Elwyn? Well, yes, that's me. But why are you asking me by a name? Actually, there's a woman who desperately wants to meet you. Oh, I'm quite honored. What's she like? First of all, what is her name? Name! <laughs> that's what I forgot to get. Uh, what are you? Are you the regular shop? <clears throat> Ooh. Increases movement speed by 20 in battle. That could be good. Talisman. Defense by 5. Hey, cool. Come again. Uh, so now let's ask her her name, apparently. <clears throat> Excuse me, but you might tell us your name. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Nancy. My mother is the town grocer. Her name is Nancy. She's the daughter of this village grocer. I see, the grocer's daughter, Nancy. Unfortunately, I cannot meet her. Why is that? You see, I'm heir to a trade company in Venezia. Right now, I just happen to be visiting this village on business, but it won't be long to have to return to Venezia. And also, the president, my father, he will never allow it. But can't you at least try meeting her? No, if I met her even once, it will only make it more difficult when we will not meet again. Please give the young lady my regards. Now then, back to work. Asshole. <clears throat> It was no use, right? I figured it would be like this. I mean, he's the son of the company president. I'm just the daughter of the grocer. No matter how you look at it, we were meant to be. Nancy. Thank you, I'm okay now. I'm alright, don't worry about me. And scene end! Right. <clears throat> hey, there's a chef. I draw the wonderful world flavors. I want to share this flavor with me if you ever can. Would you like to taste my world? Ooh, my. I learned how to make a sandwich. <clears throat> hey, it's Nancy's mom. Let's see. Is there anything here I absolutely have to have? Probably not. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't stop coughing. Anyway. So now let's find Clarth. Found him. That, that's you, Millard? If you brought tea, just leave it on the table over there, would ya? Excuse me, are you Clarth? Hmm? I am, but do you have some business with me, princess? Clarth, we were hoping we might be able to learn something about the research you have done on magic. Magic? Oh, you're here about my series on lectures on magical studies. If that's all, you can talk to Merald inside. You ought to pay the 10,000 geld to which no front. What a payment? You can't pay that much. <clears throat> well then, I suppose I got nothing to teach you. Come again sometime, princess. Please stop calling me that. I'm so sorry. You see, you never bothered to give me your name in the first place. And this is our first meeting, or am I mistaken about that? Oh, oh, I am so sorry. My name is Mint Ainade, and this is Class. <clears throat> Clark, the ability to use magic is absolutely essential to us. We must have it to defeat Deos. To defeat Deos? Are you serious? <clears> hmm. <throat> Even for an excuse to get some to get free magic or training, arrogance is like that so crosses the line. What? That's so cruel. Clarth, is this how you treat people when I'm not around? Merald, I can believe you. Why must you always be so blunt, rude, and downright thoughtless? You've just met these people, right? Did you even ask why they came here? Can't you e muster even the slightest bit of social grace? You're an idiot! Complete fool! Honestly! <clears throat> oh my. I am sorry about him. He got the maturity of a little kid. Oh, I know. You should just forget about a guy like this. How about I introduce you somewhere, someone more dependable? A guy like this. Isn't needed, right? Why? Hey! What do you mean, a guy like this? What's that supposed to mean? <clears throat> you don't like that? For someone unreliable like you, a guy like this is just fine. What the hell does that mean, unreliable? Just who was it that followed me all the way to this remote area? Oh my, I just can't seem to recall. <clears throat> I can't believe her. Go on, you two, just give him one last push. Um, we... 
No matter what, we still need Clark's cooperation. Cooperation? Yes, that's right. <coughs> if that's the case, you should have just said so in the first place. Anyway, what is it? What was it we want to talk to me about? <clears throat> Can't stop coffee. Uh. Hmm, from the future, you say? That's rather hard to believe. We won't try to force you to believe us, because we've both had the same doubts about it. But regardless, it does not change the fact we need your magic in order to be defeat Deos. Please, is there any way we can convince you to lend us your power? <clears throat> I'm sorry to tell you, despite what you've been told, I cannot use sorcery myself. As I'm sure you can see, I'm neither elf or half-elf. I'm just an ordinary human being. Do my ears look point to you? We came here after hearing about you from Bel Beladan's village elder. He seemed to... Excuse me. He seems sure that Clark would have some kind of power that could help us. Actually, there is a kind of magic that isn't limited to those of the elven lineage. By borrowing the power of spirits, it's possible to obtain power that is equal to that to sorcery. This has been the focus of my research, searching out the means necessary for a human to harness the power of the spirits. That power is known as summoning. But you can't still actually use it, right? You're even noisier than usual today. The theory, at least, is sound, and there's no reason it wouldn't work. All that's left to, do, uh, to is actually form a pact of a spirit, and I should be able to control the power equal to sorcery. However, attempting to form a pact can be a gradual, dangerous undertaking. You see, the beings known as spirits have tendencies lived in places where humans cannot easily tread. <clears throat> Your names were Kles and Mint, right? <clears throat> now then, my cooperation is truly what you seek. You'll need, you need to be able to use the power of summoning to achieve your goals, correct? If you understand my intent, I assume that is acceptable. Yes! Thank you so much! In that case, we should make our way to the Lone Valley without delay. The Spirit of Wind, the Sif, reside in that valley. Merald, can you pass me my hat? I probably won't be back for a while, so... If you're worried about me, I'll be alright. You know, when you get back, I'll have to let you try my newest pie recipe. In that case, I better give you... Give her, ah, in that case, I better give my best, huh? Well, then I'll be off. Clark, Clark, don't forget to take this with you. Collector's Encyclopedia, nice. <clears throat> Been saying his name non-stop, now I can change it. Oh yes, Kles Mint. We have a large collection of books here related to the Magic Spirit. I can read, okay. I don't want to read, I want to move on. Let's take a look at Clark. <clears throat> uh, he has a Necronomicon, what? What? That's a little extreme there, Clarth. What abilities do you have? You have no abilities. Never mind. Uh, Alright. So, I need to heal up now. There's an end down there. There's a uh, child and performers. There's only one person watching, and he hates it. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and heal up. And then I can move on and move my way to Lone Valley. <clears throat> now, I remember there was a cave of the spirits. I don't think I can go there just yet. I might be too low level, but let's go ahead and go this way. Oh, got a fight. I guess I could start trying to level up Clark because he's level 9. Got one dead. Yay. And Clark does nothing because I don't have him any spells yet. Alright. Look at Clark just standing there. Be like, oh yeah, look at all the stuff I did. Absolutely nothing. Alright. <clears throat> so we're gonna go this way, which we couldn't go through earlier. What's this? This is the home of the Spirit of the Wind in Lone Valley. It's been said that spirits reside 
in all things in this world, much as is theoretical, but at least in the case of the four great spirits, we know that they truly exist. The four great spirits? That's right, the spirits that rule over earth, water, fire, and wind. Those are the four great spirits. The spirits of wind, the Sif, are among them. So our goal here is to obtain the power of the Sif, correct? Well, if everything ends up being that simple, I won't complain. Actually, in order to form a pact, we need to something known as a rune ring. It's absolutely essential to the pact. Personally, I'm in the habit of calling it a pact ring. We must first obtain that. Essential, but Clarth, weren't you the one who created something? Actually, it was something that I first discovered in an ancient document that was beginning my research, which I now have carried out to its perfection. You did all this by yourself, Clarth? You're amazing! While I was still among those hard-headed fools in the scientific community, I was told countless times that it was impossible. In any case, the first stop is that house over there. There's mainly there I like to meet. Alright, I want to go to this town first, I believe. Let's get to this town. Because <clears throat> there's stuff here I think I have to buy. I am shop. <clears throat> Pickaxe. Let's uh, buy three of these, and I think I need to buy some ropes too. <clears throat> Okay, so I got those bought. Let's explore this town real fast, see if there's anything else I need. Uh, God must be really great. Oh, hey, another chef. I draw the world with flavor, and I learn. What did I learn? Fridge toast. Amazing. Here's an inn. Is there anything hiding here in an inn? Ooh, you look important. Hey. Oh, wait, is that Nancy? Nancy, oh, class, I want to thank you for before. What are you doing in a place like this? I'm a traveling soldier. This girl was saying to me that guy no matter what, so I was trying to make my way to Venezia anyways, but this girl begged me to take her along. Yeah, I understand. I just want to hear from him myself. Elwyn. Is that it for this part? No, that's it for this part. Is she wearing a sand hat? Alright. <clears throat> now there's a church. I think that's it for this town. There's the equipment shops and stuff. Are there, is there any better weapons? <clears throat> the wall on sword. It's about the same as my, uh... Looks like it's... Oh, it is a up. Okay. And there's a crescent axe. There is stronger weapons here. Oh, wait. What's a few details? There we go. Okay. So that's 50-50. Ooh, I actually... Yeah, I want that. I need to save up for that. Alright. Yeah, so... F wall on sword is what I'm going to save up for. Let me get out of this town. Let me get back to that lone valley. Bum 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 bum. Eh, I don't want to deal with killer owls. I feel like I'm going to be doing the brunt of everything for like a while now. Because I have Mint who's only a healer, and then I have um, Clark who does next to nothing right now. <clears throat> Sorry to be sorts, but you're barked, are you not? And you are. I am Clarth. I seek to pack of I seek a pack I seek a pact with the spirits of wind. I'd wait for a while if I were you. You still remember the last earthquake, right? Since then the spirits in the area have begun acting strangely. I can't get anywhere near them myself, so I still don't know what exactly happened to them. I understand the situation, but we're in a bit of a hurry. Speaking of which, I was hoping that you'd be willing to part with that rune ring of yours. Of course I'm willing to give you a fair compensation of it. I don't know you learn about this ring, but if, if you hear my request, I'll be willing to give you the ring in exchange. What kind of request? To tell you the truth, my daughter went missing several days ago. I'm worried that she might have gone into the valley to check on the state of spirits. Ah, uh, the girl went alone. Does she know how dangerous it is? Uh, having such a reckless daughter is my curse. Alright, we'll search for her. 
My daughter's name is Arch. You'll recognize her by a trademark pink poison. Oh, she's another character! Despite her appearance, she's actually a tomboy. I guess you can say she's kind of hard to miss. I'll see. Oh, we'll keep uh, our eyes open for her. As far as the spirits of wind goes... Oh, I just completely remembered this area now and I played this years ago. I know what's going on. Okay, I remember this area now. As far as the spirit of wind goes, you must most likely find them in the innermost part of the valley. Across the suspension bridge. Please find my daughter. I obtained the opal. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> so now I got the opal ring. Do I equip it to Clark? Yeah. yeah, I guess I can. Alright. Ooh, there's a chest back here. Thief's Mantle. Will this help you out? Ooh! A decent amount of defense and invasion. Yeah, let's give that to you. Alright. I guess I just need the pickaxe for that. Okay. Hey, there's some sylphs. I gotta fight. Against harpies. Oh, I'm going to get, uh, continent. Well, not continent ID. They are, uh, not decent. Okay, is Clarth poisoned right now? I love how he's hanging him with the Morel and Namicon. I might have to buy some Panacea bottles. I need money though. I really do need money. Ah, uh, 81 gold. Oof, a handful of fights I have that sword. Unfortunately... I do have five. Oh man. Do I have to heal them after every one? Oh wait. I am tame bread. Alright. Eh, it hurts. Oh! Did I just literally walk into a boss fight without saving? Oh, I am. Boom. Alright, let's try separating these guys out. <clears throat> Okay, uh, I'll have you guys stay. Oh crap, they're using... <clears throat> oh crap. No! Clarth, you are on life bio duty. Clarth, you are also on apple gummy duty. Let me try and do as much as I can here. Uh, apple gummy mint. Please, someone that just hits me. Okay, it does. I got one dead. Clark, you are still an apple gummy, Dewey. Okay, I gotta get rid of the red silks. It feels like. Uh, Clark, you're also on Orange Gummy Dewey. You're on all the Deweys right now, Clark. You know what? Let's mix Gummy too. Okay, I got that one dead. Get rid of you so I can get rid of the storms. Okay, you're dead. Hi. 
You're next. Alright, you have a lot of health. Oh, I didn't uh, hourglass these guys. So I actually, nah, hourglass specs look at these guys. There we go. <clears throat> Whoa! At least everyone gets level ups. That was a lot of XP and some geld. Oh, I can now go buy that sword now. One by one, our companions are being driven mad from exposure to the air from the demonic realms. <clears throat> Air from the demonic realms. I see. So this is all being caused by that toxic gas. Toxic gas? You mean the sylphs have a gas pro Really, class? <clears throat> toxic gas? Oh, I love they just completely ignored them. <laughs> Clark, can you explain what that means? Uh, it's known as miasma. The toxic air from the demonic realms. There's probably a distortion in the boundary that separates this world from the demonic realms and allowed that poison to seep out. So as long as humans don't suffer prolonged exposures, the miasma isn't a big deal, but for spirits it's a different story. Then the rest of them may be expected like those last spirits. We just need to find a way to seal up the areas where this distortion is occurring, right? The sooner we take care of this, the better. That's true. Excuse me. Yeah, I need to go back. I need to sleep at the end, and I am going to buy that sword because that sword is going to be really powerful. I need it. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And I might just end things there. I fought a boss in this episode. Yeah, actually, let's do that. I'm going to go sleep at the end. I'll be right back with more uh, Let's Play Tales of Fantasia tomorrow, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good day.